This Earth Zoom transition is going very viral nowadays on social media and many of the people are using it as a hook in their video. In this video, I'm going to explain to you everything you need to know about this transition, how you can achieve it. So first of all, you need to open your Premiere Pro or your DaVinci Resolve. And what you need to do is like I have this video as you can see. So to do that transition, what you need to do is you need to come on the first frame of your video and in here you just take a grab so i'll take a grab here grab still and then what i'll do is i will just come here and i will export this grab as a jpeg file so it's not a very heavy file so i will export it and i will name it as my first frame and i'm gonna create a new folder on my desktop and i will say first frame as well there you go and i'll create it now i will export that now we have the first frame of the video before we forget that what I would like you to do is you come on here on your edit page even on your uh, Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve and go one frame forward like this and make a cut now the first frame you need to make sure that you delete it so I will delete this frame there you go so after making sure that you have taken the first frame and you have deleted that first frame from your video what you need to do is you need to go on internet and you need to search for a website called higgsfield.ai i will put the link of the website in my description so you can just click on it and open it so once i open it it will look something like this to me so what i'm gonna really do is i'm gonna first of all make sure i'm on explore page and then on the visual effects the first thing here for now is earth zoom out i will click on it and it will open this page for me where i can just simply click on generate now once i click on generate it will open this page for me where i have to put my first frame of the video so i will come here and then i will choose the frame which is here this is the uh, picture so i will upload it first of all i have to wait for it till it's uh, uploaded now once your picture is being uploaded you need to go to the prompt and look if something needs to be changed like in my video the prompt is saying a young man stands in a narrow alleyway in japan so basically on my video there is no young man it's uh, some cars and some equipment so I, I will have to change it a bit so what i will do is i will delete this so what i will say is cars park in a parking in dubai city that's what suits me because i'm in dubai city and these are some cars and some equipment which are parked in a parking so that's how you should change and then you should go for all other settings so it's a bath in a warm sunset light it's okay the camera pulls away sharply initiating smooth and rapid zoom so i will say smooth and cinematic zoom I will change it so you you can look for it and you can start making changes so you have a better experience with this and you should learn now how the ai works because a lot of uh, videos are involving ai and the uh, editing so i have done it cinematic zoom out and it rushes upwards through the alley past glowing signs of lanterns so surely it's not a uh, night so it should not be lanterns drilling the architecture of middle eastern city yeah that is what i did so the lanterns i should delete and then middle eastern city i have already done that so pace accelerates transitioning into the night sky before breaking through the atmosphere and in the final shot the earth appears to be single pristine globe rotating uh, that is cool with with her location marked in okay with the location i will say so let's say the location now i'm done with making changes to my prompt what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click on generate and it will take some time it is gonna be in the queue so let's see how much time it takes mostly it takes like two to three minutes to generate so i will see how much time will it take okay i have got my video and i'm gonna play it and see how it looks so let's see wow it's so cool it's so 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 cool let me play it again 
Oh, that is so cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply click on download and I'll tell you what's going to be the download quality. So I'm going to go in my DaVinci Resolve again and in here I will import the video. It's in my downloads. So there it is and I will open it. So now this video, if I see the metadata of this video, this is 1280 by 720p and my video is 3.8k. So let's see how it matches by the way. So if we look at our video, the video is zooming out. That's not what we want. We want it to zoom in. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on my video, right click that and in here on change clip speed, I will click on it and I will tick the box of reverse speed and I'll change. Now my video is reversed. So you can see there you go. And then let's see how it matches. That's it. Very cool. Now when the cut is happening, there is a bit of glitch in the brightness of the video. Why? Because the video which is before is a bit low res and that's why when we are going to the high res video, it's looking like it's a bit uh, low brightness. So what I will do is I will increase the brightness of my first video. Now in the color page, I will just simply go on the offset of first video and increase it a bit. So let's see how our cut will happen. So now if I play it, there you go. It's cool. So this is how easy it is to do this art zoom in transition. And I hope this video was helpful for you. In case it was, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos like this. Thank you so much.